Hey guys, Stinger Thirty here again. Um, just want to do a um, just a quick video, just to show you how to charge up some uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. These are just some AAA batteries that we use around the house, in, be it remotes or kids' toys or whatever. Um, just give you a quick run through the setup. This is a Hyperion um, charger. I've had this now for um, about four or five months now. I've actually got two of these fellas and um, it works quite well. Very good little solid charger that fella. And my power supply is a, um, a Tricky Dicky Dick Smith power supply. As you can see down here it puts out a maximum of about 23 amp. Um, it says 13.8 volt down the bottom uh, but it's actually got a, um, there's a screw underneath and you can screw these charger, uh, screw the um, power supply in and out and wind it up to about 15 and a half volts or down to about 11 volts. Um, on the back of it, there's a um, there's a small fan in here. He kicks in when he gets a bit too hot. Um, fuse over here. Um, there's actually two little screw terminals that go into there. I've just removed those just for a little bit of ease um, to connect battery terminals up to it. One of the things I do like about this battery charger, the um, the battery charger, the power supply, is that it's got a um, 12 volt power socket in the front. It's just a standard old power socket same as what you find in a cigarette lighter in your car um, that comes in handy because uh, I've got a few few things that plug into the car and uh, rather than leave the car running all night you can plug whatever device you want from the car and this mainly fridges fridges run quite well for that um, and that's the balance board that came with the um, with the charger as well it's a JXT adapter okay so moving on over here to the charger uh, we'll have a bit of a look down in here. We've got a few buttons down here. If we hit, hit battery type, a few type, we can actually step through what um, what sort of batteries this thing does. We can over here we can select life. Um, it actually says down here in the front. Oh, you probably can't read that too well, but it says um, supported cell types: um, LiPo from 1s to 6s, uh, LiPo 4 from 1s to 6s, uh, NiCad nickel metal hydride 1 to 14 cells. And lead acid one to six cells. Um, and charge rate it says in the corner it does from 0 0.1 of an amp to six of an amp. Um, this charger also has a discharge function with a maximum discharge rate of one amp. Okay, so we'll click our button again, we go to life. PB is for lead. If you've got any lead cell batteries or lead acid batteries, you can use that phone to do that. NICAD. Nikon batteries and nickel metal hydride. These batteries here, they're um, they, they're an 800 milliamp battery. I don't like to charge them much more than probably about 500 milliamp. They will charge. They will take a little bit longer, but I'm just sort of paranoid about it. But anyhow, nothing wrong with a little bit of paranoia. Saves batteries exploding and batteries leaking and what sort of stuff. So a nickel metal hydride charge at half an amp, we come back down here and we push the enter button at that. Now when it says, in this here now starts to flash for C for charge rate, we can um, change it over here to a discharge as well. A discharge cycle. Let's step through some of these fellas here. Okay, so at nickel metal hydride charge at half an amp. Should we say yes to that? Yes to half an amp. Go. Okay. And it's going to run through here on the on the display and tell you what this thing's doing. The segment over here tells you how many milliamps of charge it's actually putting in over the length of time. So that's what the um, that's what those these digits over here mean these five digits over here. Um, so yeah, it's in run. It'll take on half an hour or so, and um, then it's done. Once it's finished, the charge over here will actually start. The machine will actually beeps, beeps probably about half a dozen times. It comes up here and it says end, and it say CHG for charging, and it, and it cycles back and forth between CHG and end, and it just sits there and rotates backwards and forwards. To let you know the thing's finished. So that's it. That's how nice and easy it is to um, to do your batteries. After this battery pack here is done with four, I'll do this one over here with just the two batteries on it, 
and we're done. I hope this helps someone. Cheers.